Good morning, we are alive. Day three, here we come. Some people may be alive more than others. Here we are, day three. Woo, going around in a circle. So, the plan for today is 12.8 miles. We have to walk about a little over a mile, and then we're going to go up to 5,200 feet in elevation, up Unica Mountain. Um, but on the top there, they say that it's really pretty. A lot of dense spruce. It almost kind of sounds, or it almost kind of feels like a, uh, uh, like a fairy land, just the way that it's different. So I'm really excited to check that out. Um, 12.8 definitely is going to be long, but I think if we can make it past Unica Mountain and there's another um, spot called Beauty Spot that is a ball that should be really pretty too. Um, that's halfway of our journey and the rest of the six miles is all downhill, which hopefully at that point will not kill our legs. Um, track's looking pretty good. It's already probably 65 degrees this morning. It's beautiful. Last night the uh, shelter that we stayed at was... A little packed um, you guys saw the, the video of some people um, after I showed you our tent or our hammock site there's a lot more people that rolled in and there's some through hikers that were pretty noisy at the uh, the shelter stayed up till about 12 30 laughing hooting and hollering but it's all good birds are chirping sun shining there's a breeze Life is good. Bring on day three. All right, so we are a little under a mile from the top of Unica Mountain. It's been a pretty gradual uphill. Um, I think to the top is like 2.2 miles and we had to go up like 1,400 feet. So not too bad, but definitely a mountain been really neat. Kind of rooty ro and a little bit rocky at times. It's a little humid today so we're excited to get up and into the shade covering and at 5200 feet there should be a nice cool breeze up there. We're making it. So we made it to the top of Unica. This is pretty neat in here. There's beauty spot. We're not gonna stay here long, that sun's pretty warm. Watch out for ticks. So just to show y'all, right there, that high knob, that was where we started. About 20 feet on the back side of that is Carver's Gap. We walked all the way, all the way, and we came up that mountain. Unaka. How do you say it? Unaka. Got it. And our car is that way. Second ridge over. All right, people. So we are in the middle of our last uh, six miles of the day. We're probably about two, almost two miles into it. Climbing down into Indian Grave Gap 
and then we've got another uphill for about three quarters of a mile. It's been a gorgeous view, or a gorgeous walk in amongst all of these mountain laurels. Although, it's been pretty rocky, really rooty. So trip recap, at this point, we are 2.5 miles away from our next water source, which we need for dinner tonight and to get rehydrated. Um, that will put us about one mile in front of the shelter. Um, guy that we just saw said that the shelter was really buggy. Um, and that it was pretty busy. There was another guy we saw and he said it was pretty busy. So we may try as soon as we get um, to water and get filled up with everything. Um, be like on the lookout for some hammock trees, hammockable trees. Sometimes it's a little difficult to find trees in the woods that are gonna work for hammocks something you wouldn't necessarily think of. Good morning. This is day four. We found three trees that we could string our hammocks together with. Which is pretty amazing because we still look like we're in jungle land with all these rhododendrons. Looks like you could maybe even see a monkey sometime flying in between these trees. Okay, so there's the shelter. Uh, uh, maple shelter. A little quiet because it's 7.15 in the morning and people are still sleeping. Tucked all the way back down in here. Good spots for hammocking. I mean, tenting, not necessarily so much for hammocking. There's the trail. This is where we were able to be. Took back up in here. Okay, beautiful people, we are on day four and we have left camp. We've got about four miles to go to Uncle Johnny's, walking right back into town. Birds are chirping, sun's out. So just a little trip update. We are probably about two miles into the last day. Body wise, um, legs are doing great for both of us. I feel like we've got a lot of ouch, um, energy and um, no cramping. So that's been fantastic. Um, Mike's got some chafing going on, which is definitely a problem for him. And for me, just that spot on my knee on the left side. Um, but that's pretty manageable, especially with this this um, descent. It's not, not too bad grade. So I guess the only other thing to kind of talk about is the bugs at Curly Maple Shelter. Those were awful. Um, I got my bug bites. Not pretty. Um, so I wouldn't go there if I were you. <laughs> but it's a really awful stretch until the next shelter um, with really rocks and lots of roots. We're excited to get into Uncle Johnny's hostel. We're gonna take a shower, we're gonna drink like two Gatorades and uh, probably make our way back to Hot Springs to the Spring Creek Tavern to have um, some of their apps. Delicious. It's been a great trip. Beautiful weather. We have not gotten rained on at all. Under a mile left. Noel and Chucky is off to our left, walking down on the side of a mountain right now. Going down. This is the bridge going over the 
Nolan Chucky River. Uncle Johnny's is right there, just right across. Maybe we made it out of the woods on time. We haven't had a drop of rain at all. Today's been a little warmer, it's 80 degrees. So walking was a little bit tough today. There's the river. All right, so here's a final trip recap over the Carver's Gap to Uncle Johnny's. 36.2 uh, mile hike that we did over three nights and four days. So we started up at Carver's Gap. It's right here. That was a really smooth and gradual climb up to the, uh, the high point, which is, there isn't any kind of view up there, but you did get to see the highest shelter on the AT, which is pretty cool. Um, and then going down was so gradual, but you went down for a long, long time. Definitely with this trip, you want to go southbound. I would not, <laughs> I would not suggest it going northbound. Um, up, uh, up this little uh, gap, or out of this gap going up, was actually a whole lot steeper than we had anticipated. So that took us a little bit by surprise. Um, and then after that, it was a lot of ups and downs. So night number one, we stayed at Greasy Creek Gap campsite. And that first day was 12 miles. Day number two, we did a lot of ups and downs. Uh, that was seven miles, and we hit the shelter, Cherry Gap. Cherry Gap. Um, that was pretty busy that night with through hikers. But that was right at the base of Unica Mountain. So we stayed the night at the shelter uh, in our hammock, so outside of the shelter. And we started our day at number three, and our total for that day was 12.8. We started going up the mountain, uh, which was 2.2 and about 13 or 1400 feet. It really wasn't that bad. It was a pretty gradual climb, but it's just a long climb of going upwards. Um, <clears throat> and then down was really steep on the other side of Unica. Um, I had some issues with my knees and it was a little rocky going down with some really loose rocks, um, so that should be noted. And then, but going up and over Beauty Spot was that was fantastic. There's uh, it's out in the sun, so you don't have a whole lot of shade. It was a little warm, uh, but that was a, a really nice, beautiful uh, bald to see. And then going back down that um, <clears throat> afterwards was wasn't bad, but up. Um, so about this point, we had hit a lot of rocks and a lot of roots. And for the next almost four miles um, until the last shelter that we hit, which was Curly Maple, um, that was just a really rough terrain. It was it was very rocky, very rooty. Um, you're, just, you're just walking over rocks for like a mile. All rhododendrons on both sides, lack of water. Um, it was just a really pretty tough uh, tough section of trail, and I do talk about that in the video. We stopped <clears throat> at Curly Maple, and then we walked the remaining four, almost four and a half, like 4.2 or 4.4 miles out, which was a downhill slope, but with like a few pretty major ups, uh, walking around, rocking, walking next to the river. Um, but after that, it wasn't that bad going out and we walked right back into Uncle Johnny's hostel.